Yo, what's up? It's the Dark Horse. If you're doing well, welcome. We're going to be jumping into Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon Ranked. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, we're jumping into Ranked. Uh, we're going to basically see how we play. Obviously, the last duel, we got absolutely shredded by a Scizor with Water-type Terror. Pokemon is so hard now because you have to take into account the Terror types as well. Um, so, it's definitely going to be a tough run. Uh, hopefully, we should be A-OK. -okay. I just want to quickly check something. Oh, that's why... I hadn't changed the um, low light consumption. Now the camera should be a bit more smooth. Okay. What? I thought you could only run one. Oh my god. I'm dealing with the breath. Oh my god. How do we counter this? You've got freaking big man belly drum. You've got. Oh god. Um. Okay. Gudra. I'm going to have to go ice at some point. Well, technically, I could go Garchomp and then Outrage. But then the problem is Delibird. And then, obviously, the Dura... Dur whatever the fucking dragon's called. Godzilla. Um... Hmm. <sighs> I think Iron Valiant is going to come out first, which is Psychic. But the problem is... Okay. This change of speed, change of pace. Uh, let's go Cerulege yeah, and Garchomp. All right, let's spice it up a bit. Here we go. I don't know how this is going to play out. Hopefully, it plays out better. Considering the team we're up against, it's going to be a little problematic. Um, but okay. Oof. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous at this point. Yo, these staging areas, the fact they change is it's a lot better than when it first started. Okay, you went King Gambit. That's fine. It's exerting pressure. That's fine. Oh, um... I'm debating. I think that he's going to... He's going to go with... Oh, but he has priority as well. Okay. He's definitely gone Sword Dance. He does gain priority. I kind of see why I ran. This mate, he went guillotine. Okay, if we're going... I'm going to... Oh, actually, no. Because if he goes guillotine and I terastalize, I lose my ghost. So, Bitter Blade comes through. Okay, super effective. I drain my HP. Koto Cleave, well played, bruh, well, oh mate, it was it was a toss of each coin, it could have been Guillotine, which I would have terrestrialized and clapped me, or if I didn't Terror, um, I'm going to go Mimikyu, and then I'm going to go with, do you think I could kill with Shadow Sneak, or not, I want to, I'd like to think I could, oh, I'm going to go play rough, fuck it, Okay, he withdrew. Hopefully, he went into Dragon. Powdia. Oh, I'm Valiant. Oh, okay. Shiny as well. My man's just showing off shinies now. Oh. <laughs> Gets sent to the Shadow Realm. Mate, that shiny out of here. <laughs> Why does Mimikyu look like it's got a wooden tail as well? Iron Bundle. Okay. Ooh. I don't like the futuristic Pokemon. I think they look absolutely ridiculously stupid. That's just my opinion. So the Ice Beam's fine. It's not going to hurt me. I'm going to get priority next turn anyway. Um... Oh, no. That's bad. <gasps> He's super effective on me as well. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait, what's my terror? What's my terror? Drag. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, God. I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go Shadow Sneak. I'm going to have to try and get some form of damage off, at least. Okay, I've got half a bar. He's going to go Ice Beam and then kill me in one hit. Oh, this is not good. This is the problem when you're running a dragon. But, yeah. Ah, that's... No, it's fine. I have Fire Fang. But the problem is, it's 95% accuracy. Wait, I could change my Terra type into ground. That could work. 
Yeah, and then I go EQ and I get stab. That way it won't be super it won't be as super effective on me. So if I could play this off, we'll be hopefully we'll be a okay. So Okay. Oh the ice beam still Oh don't kill, don't kill, don't Man Oh man, I need some protection to ass tap moves. Damn. Well played. I can't even be mad. I'm just a little bugged by that. <laughs> oh, but it is what it is. All right, let's jump into a new one. Okay, so our next match is Avalug Dondoza Claw Skelleregi or whatever his name is. Meow Skarada. Meow Skarada's fine. I can't remember how I used to play this against Meow Skarada. I don't know if I went in with Glamora. I think I did. I think I went Glamora, Focus Sash, and then clapped it. But I, th I don't know. The only problem I've got here, we need to get Garchomp's. I need to focus on obviously changing my Terra types. So I need to start doing some more Terra raids live, live on the other channel, so we can start getting more, so I can actually build a very well constructed team. Um, with Don Dozer, I'll, I'll probably Glamora is going to be able to. I have to run Mimikyu solely for the fact there's Garchomp. And then finally, let's give King Gambit a shot. Yeah, let's run King Gambit. See how this plays out. I know King Gambit does have, obviously, um, Sword Dance along with priority moves. So in the long term, it could be beneficial, depending on how they start as well. But this is what excites me about Pokemon battles in 3v3 because you don't really know what you're going to be dealing with or anticipating and things like that. So Meow Skarada is out. Okay, my Glamora has Focus Sash, but I believe I can one-hit kill the Meow Skarada. Ooh, maybe not. Who did I use for it then? Unless... Oh. Okay, I went into Mimikyu. I should have started with Mimikyu. It's fine. Um, I'm going to get Stealth Rock off. And... Okay, U-turn combo, chip damage, that's fine. The only problem is my focus sash, but I can still get the stealth rock off now. So when they switch in, they're going to get the... Pro yeah, they're going to get poison, won't they? So you've gone Garchomp, the poison applies, the stealth rock now pops off. At least I know Mimikyu can clap two monsters already. So what I'll do next turn is I will possibly Sword Dance and then go into... I don't want to Terra. Although maybe I should. Excuse me. It doesn't make a difference what we go with. Glamour is going to die anyway. What, what we spec in Fire Fang maybe? Dragon Claw. Terror. I think Pokemon has definitely got a lot harder due to terror typing. So Crunch. Okay. I'll eat that. There we go. Poison. Uh, toxic Debris comes off again. Poison applies. Which means that I'll outspeed and kill Garchomp even without Mimikyu. So I could just Energy Ball again. Unless you're going to Terror. I don't think you would Terror. Not at that low HP anyway. Energy Ball will now kill. Nice. Meow Skarada. I'm going to let the poison deal its thing. We'll just stall here. I wouldn't mind getting Protect for um, Glamora. But also I don't really need to worry too much about it. I'm going to drop a Power Gem. I'm not going to outspeed anyway. Because it may be... Okay, chilling water. Wow, that does nothing. Why would you use a water type move on a grass type? Well, grass and rock type. The poison should kill. Ooh, okay. I would normally switch out, but I don't want to. Not yet. Okay. It's fine. A win's a win at the end of the day, obviously. I, I can't comment on, obviously, this person's play, play style because... 
I am going to make some very bad plays in regards to Pokemon. I suck. Obviously, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am not the best at Pokemon. Maybe in a year's time, we might be a bit better. But, yeah. I'm good at those locks, obviously. I like making them challenging for myself. Avalon. Here we go. More super effective on me. You get an Ice Beam. You could probably go Avalanche or something. Um, well, I'm just going to... I'm going to... Terrasta and Empower Gem. <clears throat> this is the thing that excites me about Pokemon because you don't know what you're going up against. You don't know what you're playing against and stuff. So pretty much everything is kind of like, you know, that interest aspect of things. How can one thing play out? How can you turn it around? How is there a potential play you can go off of? Or are you literally stuck? I was recently playing Pokemon Infinite Fusions, and I went up against a Shed Ninja fused with, um, I think, I can't remember what Pokemon it was fused with, but basically Shed Ninja was fused with something else, and I couldn't deal any damage to it because I had no super effective move. Fortunately enough, I was able to pop off Leech Seed, and Leech Seed would obviously kill the Shed Ninja, and we were and managed to proceed. But yeah, it's crazy. All right. I'm going to continue. We'll do one more. I'm going to push this probably to a 15-minute episode. or I'll try and get three battles in, obviously, a video. Your results have been reflected. Okay, appreciate that. Um, so we're two for two. It's not bad, obviously. The furthest I've got, I think, is Great Ball 2, I think, or 1. No, it definitely weren't Great Ball 1. I think it was Great Ball 2. That's the furthest I've got. I'm going to try and beat that record. Obviously, we've got until, I don't know what the date is for this, until it ends. But, yeah, it's still going to be interesting. Plus, it gives you guys some extra content um, in regards to the channel and things like that. Okay. An opposing trainer has been found. A battle against rank three. What do you have? Oh, okay. I do not like the um, elemental hero Pokemon. Uh, is it Fitzuin? Fizuin? Fiz? Fiz? Oh, I don't bloody know. The dolphin. Isku, I want to get shiny at some point. A bomb of snow, obviously grass and ice could be a problem. Um, so preferably we don't want to go Garchomp or Tita. I have to go Glamora, but the only problem is with Glamora it's rock and grass, so I'm basically screwed. I could go Serral Edge straight off the bat. I would pretty much be able to take out at least one Pokemon unless it's Pelipper or Finizen. Finizen, I think its name is. Obviously you've got Electro, Electro, uh, Electro or whatever its name is. God, I'm struggling with names. But then this is where Rock would come in handy. Because I'd be able to knock it out of the sky. I don't think they're going to bring the bird. I think they'll bring Pelipper, Fizzen, if that's the pink dolphin's name. And then maybe... I can't remember any of their names. Okay, we're going to go Sarah Ledge. I'm going to go Mimikyu. Uh, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'll go Mimikyu and I'll go Glamora. Yeah, that, that's my team. I could have went Garchomp, but being Ice-type, plus its terror type is Rock, it doesn't actually help me in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah. Let's see. What, how did you kick things off? Did you go with the big Donny? Okay, no shock. You went, okay. Oh, you an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just realized it's Water-type, and it's basically going to shred me. Yeah. We know you're going to use flip thingy. So. Alright, I'm going to swap in. I'm an idiot. I should have started off with Glamora. Stupid. What a stupid play. Flip turn. Okay. Plus you go back. But the debris gets popped off anyway. Which is helpful because now I can poison the freaking... Power Ranger. Also, I have to be prepared. I don't think it's going to bring it out due to the fact I have Energy Ball. But at the same time, you can never be too certain what they're likely to bring out. So... Why is all shinies green now? Like, there's no... Like, why can Pelipper be like, I don't know, purple or something? You know, something absolutely amazing. I'm going to go Power Gem. I should outspeed the Pelipper. I should hope so anyway. If not, then we are dead. Especially if it goes with, I don't know, Surf or 
I don't know, whatever it potentially has. See, I haven't looked into movesets for, like, Pelipper, so it's interesting to see Pokemon that people, like, use. Okay, we have speed. That's amazing. That's perfect. This should be an insta-kill. Yeah, baby! Let's go. Okay. Which means, I don't know if they're going to bring out the, uh, the obviously, Transformer. Mate, I've called it a Power Ranger. I've called it freaking... I don't even know anymore. I've called it, like, three different things. Sent out... Okay, so you brought out the fighter. That's fine. The, f the good old fighter jet. The poison will pop off. This is fine because the poison can stall as well. Zero to hero. The transformation. Um, I'm going to drop an energy ball. I don't think I'm going to outspeed. The, the speed of this Pokemon is just outrageous. And it's so strong. But it would be great if I can. Close combat. Well played. But the thing is, his stats have been incre decreased anyway. So... As long as I can outspeed, I should be okay. I don't know whether to go priority here. Because obviously, I think it's going to... Obviously, I think it's going to switch out. I genuinely believe it's going to switch out. Obviously, I can't Terra-type now. But I am open to King's Gambit and Mimikyu. So Mimikyu would be good for stalling. But I want the poison to kind of build up a bit. So I feel like we go King's Gambit. Oh, I don't have King's Gambit. I have Serral Edge. <gasps> Shit. Alright, okay. Mimikyu comes in. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sword dance. I'm gonna go straight with the attack because the poison may be able to finish it off and pop it off towards the end. So I'm gonna go shadow sneak, get priority. Although maybe I should have went for a stronger move first, then shadow sneak, then then the poison finished it. Obviously. I Wait, what? Damn, you outspeed me. Even with Shadow Sneak? Oh my god, that's terrifying. Yeah, I should maybe have went with that. I just... I don't think I'm going to be able to eat the hit. I don't think I am. Either way, it's going to outspeed anyway. So... I've just got to hope, if I can eat this hit, then I should be fine. Well played. It's going to get stabbed. We're dead. We genuinely are dead. I don't... Yeah. Jet punch, stab, we're dead. Oh, I was hoping just like, just a 1 HP survival. But yeah, obviously I've only got fire type now, so unless the poison does big damage, which it hasn't, we... I've got nothing. I can't outspeed because it's... Sha uh, maybe he doesn't expect Shadow Sneak, maybe? But even still, man, I'm still going to die. The crazy part is its stats have been reduced as well. Yeah, Jet Punch. Man, priority, stab, well played, man. I honestly... It's, it's hard to come by and counter that kind of playoff, but fair play, you know what I mean. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's been a pleasure bringing this to you all. Take care. See you guys next time. Peace.